that's cute. Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. My name is Julie, and if you love thrift shopping, you have landed on the right channel. If you've never been here before, I am not a reseller, but I love to home decor thrift shop for my home, my family, and my friends. So if you enjoy that type of content, I have it for you. Today, I am shopping with my daughter, Kelsey, and we find some amazing thrift finds today. I'm gonna share with you everything that I purchased today all throughout the video. And then at the very end, I'm gonna show you how I styled everything that I purchased. Y'all, so now I'm gonna share with you the first thing that I picked up. <laughs> okay, y'all, don't say nothing, but yes, I got another rolling pin. If you are new here, I have been kind of collecting these throughout the year because I want 12 rolling pins come Christmas season. I want everybody in my family to be able to have their own rolling pin because if you have a large family, you know the struggle is real when you only have one or two rolling pins. Everybody's fighting over the rolling pin. At least the kids are, some of the adults. But anyway, I'm gonna store it in a crock on top of my refrigerator until we get ready for it. Let me show you where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna store it in this crock right up here after I get it cleaned up and I'll show y'all a little closer look here in just a minute. And this was, it was only $1.99 and I love how it looked. So let me get this cleaned up and then we'll place it in that crop till Christmas. Who loves old books? Y'all, every time I am at this particular Goodwill, I find the best old vintage books. So I'm always gonna stop and take a look at their books here, especially because they are only $1.99 for hardback and I normally always at least find one. And like I've said before, you just never know what you will find at the thrift store. Here are some house shutters and they would make great little porch signs or a little DIY project for something. Just think about all of the things you could make for Thanksgiving or Christmas. And y'all, those are even pretty. I've taken an old shutter like that before and painted it and laid it on my coffee table like a runner. In the last video, I talked to you guys about Christmas time. Look at this, look at this, y'all. The Fireside Book of Christmas Stories, y'all. And here's what it looks like up close. I love this so much. It is beautiful. Here's what it looks like on the front. You can't really see it that good. I think that's bells. I think that is actually three bells, but y'all, look and just feel. Can y'all feel the difference in the pages? Like the, I know it's old and beat up, but y'all, I just fell in love with this book and I plan on reading some of the stories in here at Christmas. This is amazing. It's called the Fireside Book of Christmas Stories. And oh yeah, it must have been the three bells there that was on the front. It says inside, let me show y'all. Okay, so here's the copyright date on the inside. And y'all, it is just amazing. Look at all of the Christmas stories. And I can use this as decor. Um, when it's not Christmas, I will turn it like this. Look at those pages, y'all. It just does not get any better than those thick paper pages. I love it so much and I'm weird. I like the smell of old books. I think it's amazing. And so I'm gonna use this now just because I love how the pages look. And then at Christmas time, I'm probably gonna read it also, or some of it, probably not all of it, but I wanna turn it like this where you can see, you know, the name of the book and all there. But y'all, I love this. It was only $1.99, and I told y'all that I always end up finding the best books at this thrift store. It has some cute little illustrations in it. Oh, I just love it so much. It's how much? It's a queen, and that, that's old. 
Come in. This is adorable. This would be cute to put a plant on. Oh, oh my gosh, look, Kels. Okay, y'all so Kelsey is my one of my older daughters she has her own home her own family and y'all we love to thrift together we love the same things country cottage vintage decor is our love and I'm gonna have to quit thrifting with her y'all because she finds some amazing things and she beats me to it sometimes I'm just kidding I, I would love thrifting with my kids and I would never do that over an item but it's just funny because I was like ah you beat me to it that is so awesome Wait till y'all see it. I'm about to show you right now. And she did purchase this. And if I get to her house before I post this and see how she has it styled, I'll definitely show y'all because it is perfect. That would be cute That's on like that. real chip. Yes. Place. That's a real old. $4.99. Look at how the cool is that. Yeah, grind on that. That would be cute on that table. You could even put something on this to decorate. Check out this old projector, y'all. This is so fun. I love it when we go to the thrift store and find all of the fun vintage things. It is just so awesome. We were checking this out because I just ordered a projector on Amazon for all of the kids to watch movies outside during the summer. So it is so funny to see the similarities and the differences in these old vintage ones and then the newer, you know, more modern ones. And then y'all look at this beautiful pan. I wish I would have had somewhere to kind of display this full time because I thought it was gorgeous but I'm not really sure what it's was it just intended for decor or did people actually cook in these Okay, y'all, and then we spotted over here on the bottom shelf this huge pot. And I told Kelsey, I said, that would be so perfect on her front porch area. What's well, really not a porch. It's just like when you walk up to her front door area, it would be so pretty there with some really bright plants or um, flowers in them. And anyway, y'all, look at the price on that. That was an amazing price. So if you're looking for something to put plants or flowers in, definitely check your thrift store because those can get super expensive if you go to like Lowe's, Home Depot, or even Walmart. They're pretty pricey, so check your thrift stores for those sort of things. Okay, y'all, Kelsey got really, really blessed back here. She found some amazing things. She has a shelf that she's done a little DIY on above her kitchen sink. And so she was looking for a lot of different things like this to decorate it with. So she ends up purchasing this. It was only $1.99. And isn't this thing stinking adorable? And then I found this little ironstone um, gravy boat. I think that's what this is for her. So she purchased that. And it's up there now with some little florals hanging out of it. It is so cute. So anyway, we hit the jackpot or, you know, Kelsey pretty much hit the jackpot because that buggy there was all her stuff. Okay, so let me show y'all what I got next. And I'm gonna do a little rewind here and show you something that I purchased at a garage sale 
probably two years ago. I love them, but I need y'all's help with them also. So right now we are gonna rewind a little time. I purchased these at a garage sale probably two years ago and I love them just because I feel like they are just very old country cottage vintage type glasses. They're very thick, I love them. But I wanna show y'all, I'm trying to get, they almost have, they weren't like this when I first bought them. They have like this very light film on them. And yes, I have hand washed them. I have scrubbed them. That's little Carson in the background. Say hi, Carson. <laughs> we are about to go to Target, so he's excited. He's got my purse out over there, and my wallet is open because he's checking to see if I have enough money to get him a monster truck. <laughs> Y'all, he's crazy. Anyway. Back to the glass. I cannot, I don't know if it's just the age of them, but you will see in just a minute compared to some other glasses, that's what I purchased next, that these are just... I don't know, y'all. Help me out. How can I get these sparkling clean? I've done everything. I've cleaned my dishwasher. I've cleaned these in, yeah, hello, Carson, <laughs> in everything. And Elizabeth won't even drink out of them anymore because she says they're dirty. They're not dirty. Hold up. <laughs> so anyway, help me out. How do I get these crystal clear clean again? So this is what I purchased today. These are a little bit smaller, but y'all, I love them because they have that same pattern and there were eight of them. Very rarely do I come across a set of glasses that I love that has a complete set of at least, you know, either four, six, eight, ten, or anything like that. But there were eight of these. Let me show you. So here's all eight of them. And I'm going to show you the other glass real quick compared to these. These have almost a little bit, and that's what I told Kelsey in the Goodwill, they have almost a hint of green to them, which I love because green is my favorite color. But when you compare them, you can kind of see what I'm talking about with this, like, I don't know, some sort of this film. I don't know, y'all tried all the little tricks that I know to try, but compared to these, these just look like very clear, very clean. And I do love that little hint of bluish green they have to it. So anyway, I got eight of these and they were only 50 cents a piece. She gave me a good deal because I bought eight. I love this Goodwill because she will kind of, the lady that runs that place, she's really good about bundling things and giving you a better price. I think these were actually priced at 99 cents. And I said, well, I'm buying all eight. Can you give me a better deal? And she said, yes. Yeah. So she only charged me 50 cents for those. So anyway, I'm gonna get these washed up and put these up in the cabinet and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna wait for y'all to help me out. So I'm probably gonna put these either up here or over here. Now I have these Wexford little goblets up here, which I do love, but we rarely reach for those to drink out of for everyday use. So I may put those in storage somewhere just until we need them for, you know, a nicer dinner or supper or something like that, which <laughs> we rarely do anyway. Or I just might put them there. But I'm afraid if I put them on the same shelf as those other ones, my other ones are gonna look dirty compared to those. So I don't know y'all, the struggle is real. Let me work on it and I'll show y'all when I get finished. Okay, y'all, you know I've said it before. You never know what you're going to find in the thrift store. And Kelsey and I, we sat and looked this thing over forever trying to figure out if that was real human hair or what exactly that was. And Kelsey says, no, that it was too coarse. But y'all, we were having the best time standing here looking over this little doll and just dying laughing. It was hilarious because like I told her, it is just so funny what you find sitting on the shelves at the thrift store sometimes.
Okay, y'all, so I did bring home this little canister. It was only $1.99, if you can see there. And I could have swore I picked up the bigger one also. If you notice in the video, I was kind of comparing this one to the bigger one. And I don't know why I did not bring it home. I don't know if I got distracted at the moment and just forgot to grab it or what. But I love this little glass jar. I love the little white, um, what's that called? Se the little seal right here, I think, is what that is. And I love to put things in these and set them on shelves and even use them as decor because they're useful and beautiful. And y'all, this one says it was made in Italy. Let me show it to y'all just a little bit closer real quick. Okay, I'm gonna try to get it where you can see it. It says made in Italy. And then <laughs> I do not know how to pronounce that, Fidenza or something like that. And then if you look, that was my dog barking. If you heard some loud screech, she's outside wanting in. Um, right here on the bottom, you can see where it says made in Italy. I don't know. I don't know if those are good. Um, I really wish I would have grabbed the other one. I plan on putting it up here. If this will focus, let me see. Yeah, right there underneath that plate is where I plan on putting this. I really thought that I had both of them and I wanted to put them both up there, but obviously I only grabbed the one. So Can we just take a minute to acknowledge how cute and adorable these little kittens are? Y'all, what are these though? Do these hold like a plant? I wasn't really sure, but I thought a cat lover is going to come in here and find those and be so excited. Okay, y'all, let's have a conversation about this baby scale. Y'all, if you tell me that I left a vintage baby scale, I'm going to be so upset with myself. This thing was only $1.99, and once I was home and editing this video, I was thinking of all the different ways that I could have used this, so I'm kind of kicking myself. Please let me know, is this vintage? Should I have purchased this for only $1.99? So I know whether or not I need to kick myself. And can y'all believe how big little Brigham is getting? He is so adorable, y'all. He is crawling everywhere, pulling up on stuff, and he was actually the best part of this whole thrifting trip. Okay, and right here you will see this. I'm not really sure if this was a comforter or not a comforter, um, a bedspread or just a blanket, but y'all, I love that color, that just very neutral, almost hay looking color. I am drawn to it every time, but I did not wanna pay $9.99 for it, but I thought it was gorgeous.
Okay, y'all, thank you for coming along and going thrifting with us today. I hope that y'all have a wonderful weekend. We love y'all, and we'll see you back here next week with a brand new video.